the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network's Structural Racism Toolkit. Structural racism takes work to get rid of. When systems are set up to be racist, it takes work to fix them. Systems are usually designed to keep working on their own. When systems were designed to discriminate, they keep structural racism in place. This happens even when people in the system might not be individually racist themselves. This is especially true when systems are designed to hide structural racism. It might be hard to realize that a system is racist at all. People might believe there are other reasons to keep a system the way it is. Change can be hard. Change can mean learning to do things differently. It might be hard to think of new ways for systems to work. But this is work we all need to do to stop racism. A lot of racist systems were created a long time ago. A lot of racist systems make it hard to notice how they're racist. If we didn't make the system, it's not our fault that these systems are racist. But if we know that these systems are causing racism, it is our responsibility to fix them. Sometimes, we might need to make brand new systems. This work is very important. Many people of color are fighting for change. You can fight for change too. You can work with groups that are working to change the systems. One example is Black Lives Matter. You can also vote for people and laws that will change systems to be better. Learn more about voting in our toolkit, Your Vote Counts. When you are fighting for change, you should fight for everyone. We are all stronger together. We need to work together to make sure that everyone is treated fairly. Learn more about how we can change the systems that make racism work in our toolkit, Fighting for Fairness, and Racial Disparities in Community Living. Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. For more information, visit our website, autisticadvocacy.org.